Hey everybody, welcome back to The Huddle, the Review.com's weekly football show. I'm Rob Toter, Executive Editor of the Alliance Review, joined as always by the guru himself, Mike Brown, our sports editor. Mike, uh, let's not talk about the Buckeyes. No, let's let's go right on to the winners, the Mount Union Purple Raiders. Uh, we'll say winners, that was a tough one. Yeah, but that program stands the test of time though, Rob. It doesn't matter what the situation is. They're challenged, they're not challenged, they find a way to get it done. Yeah, now Wesley came in with uh, a good running, a good balanced attack, mm -hmm. but uh, it was evident early on that Mount Union was going to stop the run, and Wesley went to a passing, mostly a passing offense. They tried a lot of little passes or short passes underneath, and then mm -hmm. occasionally went deep, yeah. and that just worked to perfection. So I'm sure it gave North Central this week's opponent a lot yeah. to look at on film. Yeah, and who would have thought early on when Mount's up like, what, 30 not 31 nothing, And we're thinking, man, this is just good. And then it just goes to show you how the flow of a game can change so quickly. Yeah, and a typical performance for the Mount Union defense, and very clearly Vince Karras was not pleased after the game. Mm -hmm. But uh, as you've always said, you know, uh, teams are never the same two weeks right. in a row. Yeah. So even with a good North Central team coming in this week, mm -hmm. you know, I kind of expect Mount Union to play a little bit better defensively. I would think so. I would think that gets your attention real quickly when you give up, you know, was it 59 points 59 last week? Points, that gets yeah. your attention real fast yeah. as a defensive coach. And I'll guarantee you, I, I wouldn't want to be on those defensive meetings this week, but I'll guarantee you he's getting his point across with that defense. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be in practice yeah. either. I'm sure, <laughs> really? I'm, I'm sure there's a little bit of, of hitting going on. You know, and, and I, you know, the Mount Union players have a lot of pride as right. well. And, and I'm sure they were disappointed in yep. that performance as well. So I'm sure they're going to be ready to, for that North Central. Now, North Central comes in with a six foot five wide receiver. Mm -hmm. He's their leading receiver. Kind of the, the, uh, blueprint, I guess, for the kind of receivers that Mount has had trouble with. Now, you can count on one hand the number of teams that don't have trouble with big physical right. wide receivers, let's right. be honest. Yeah. And Mount Union's no different than that. Yeah. But North Central, more of a, not really a great running team, but more of a, a short pass. It's right. kind of like another Wesley. So yeah, but that's, Mount has to shore. I mean, they gave up over 600 yards in, in the air last week which, and eight touchdowns. That's unheard of. Uh, so now you have a team that likes to throw the ball with a big receiver coming in. So, you know, they're, they're going to have to shore it up big time. Yeah, offensively things kept rolling along for yeah. the appropriators. Kevin yeah. Burke uh, just seems to have a knack for knowing when, to, when to go deep. He's a winner. Uh, and, and when yeah. to keep the ball and run. Yeah. Uh, they didn't run the ball exceptionally well after the first quarter. B.J. Mitchell had a 65 or 60-yard touchdown run on the first play of the game and then kind of was held in check. Yeah. Didn't really average a lot of yards per play after that. So that's going to be a key for the Raiders. So they got to be able to run the football right. and close out teams, I guess, uh, right. when they've got that lead in the second half. And another thing, Rob, too, I believe, to my knowledge, this is the first time North Central has come to Alliance Ohio to play Mount Union. And, and that aura, when you haven't been here before, you better be ready to play right off the get-go because if you're sitting there looking around going, oh, my goodness, we're playing at Mount Union, and before you know it, Mount's got 21 points on you in like a few minutes, and then you're playing catch-up the rest of the day. Yeah. And that's exactly what happened last week yeah. with Wesley. And, yeah. But they're a veteran enough team, and, and, and their coaches, uh, I love Wesley's coach to death. He, he, he keeps a, a firm hand on that program, but he's, he's a really good coach. And right. he kept them on an even keel and, and just kept after it, you know. But mm -hmm. I think that's the key, you know. Mount Union did get off to a 31-0 lead mm -hmm. at the end of the first quarter. We're sitting in the press box saying, well, right. this game's over. Yep. You know, we can start writing our stories now. Mm -hmm. But uh, definitely uh, Wesley came to play in that second half and did a great job. Mm -hmm. So um, let's talk about the Buckeyes. Kind of a yeah. disappointing performance considering everything that they had done leading up to that. Right. That well, point. you know what? They've been walking the tightrope all year. They have such a good offense. And the back end of their defense is the worst I've ever seen. And, and I've been following Ohio State football for 35 years. Uh, and it's it's – you look at that, and it just makes you shake your head if they just could have shored it up a little bit where they could have been an average defense with that great offense. But you, mm -hmm. you just can't mask that. I mean, it is what it is. They're going to have to address that in the offseason. They're going to have to go out and recruit better. You know, I don't know if there's going to be some personnel changes. I, I, you know, from my own standpoint, I'd like to see some personnel changes with that staff and obviously with the players. But that was so disheartening to see that, you know, the offense, yeah. really when you think about it, 24 points will still win you a lot of college football games. But when your defense is that bad in the back end, yeah. and I, I think their front four is fine, Rob. You know, they're, it's a shame. Their front four, they're okay against the run. I think they gave up those yards late after the game was decided, and you get a little demoralized. The defense yeah. will give up cheap yards yeah. to a running back. 
But, man, you just can't disguise that back end of that defense. That's a bad defense. Well, really, the key, I thought, was on third down on both sides. Right. Ohio State, I think, was one out of 12 yeah. on third and fourth down right. plays. Michigan, and, they couldn't, and the defense couldn't get off the field That's on right. third down. Michigan State yeah. had a knack of having third and two or third and three yeah. short third down situations. Yeah. It just kept getting enough yards to they convert sure them. Did. And they just, they, the defense couldn't get off the field. And the other thing that had me shaking my head with Ohio State's offense when you have Carlos Hyde, who's only had one negative rushing play all season long, and you've got third and short or fourth and short a couple times, and, and you run Braxton Miller to the wide side, I mean, why don't you run Carlos Hyde right up the middle? He's always good for those first downs. You keep the sticks yeah. going, and that's a different game. I think Ohio State's right there, but for whatever reason, they kind of abandoned Carlos Hyde in the second half, and I'll never figure that one out. Yeah, maybe they Got too smart for them. Yeah, we always talk about that sometimes. They outthink themselves. Out, out, out coaching yep. themselves. So. Absolutely. Well, uh, the, the Buckeyes have Clemson in the bowl game yeah. in the Orange Bowl. <laughs> and and, I, and that's, that's, again, a, a spread team that yep. they've had problems with. Yep. And it's going to have to be – I think it's going to be a very entertaining oh, game. Oh, I do too. Because I don't think Clemson's defense yep. is any better than Ohio State's. That's right. It's so gonna, I think it's going to be one of those – we may see a 62-59 yep. game I, in the I agree Orange with bowl. that. That's going to be arena league football, that bowl game. <laughs> Absolutely. So uh, if, if you're going to watch the Orange Bowl, if you're yep. going down, yep. make some extra popcorn because that's going to be about a four and a half hour game I guess yep, with all the TV time. I truly so. believe that too. Right? Alright well don't forget Mount Union uh, All we'll have coverage all week long in the Alliance Review. We'll have coverage in the Saturday Alliance Review and online all weekend and uh, so we'll hopefully see you at the stadium for what should be an entertaining playoff game in the National Semifinal. For Mike Brown this is Rob Toter. We'll see you at the game.